So last weekend you painted your bedroom and it was getting late in the day so you decided to take the brushes out to the garage and you set them out in a bucket out there and said, I'll get back to these. Next weekend you decide you're going to do some more painting, you come out to get those brushes and they're very stiff so you run them under the water faucet. Does it do anything? Not a bit, right? Because basically what's happening is that paint is a solvent soluble material. It's not water based and water's not going to do anything for it. So you really didn't do anything. What we're going to be talking about here is going to be our demonstrations and why certain things come out with water, why other things have to come out with a solvent. And in this case, what I've got is I've got two containers here. This is going to be my water and this is going to be my solvent base. Both of them have sugar cubes in them. So what I'm going to do is fill each one up equal. All right. This is a dry cleaning solvent, a volatile solvent, meaning that it evaporates. All right. And my second one here, just common bottled water. We'll put about the same amount in here. And then when we're done with these other things, we'll come back to these. All right. So let's talk about other types of soils. The one that we deal with the most is going to be insoluble soil. That's what's tracked in from outside. In this particular case, we're going for sand, grit, dirt, you name it, those are all insoluble. Even things like hair and skin are insoluble materials, which means they best come out through dry vacuuming. So I put a pile of soil on here. In this particular case, we don't normally see the soil like this, so we'll spread it out a little bit. And you can see especially carpet does a great job of hiding soil. Unfortunately, that's one of the things that is the best thing about it. It's also one of the things that's the worst thing about it. In this particular case, if I spent a lot of time on this, I could probably almost get all this soil hidden away. But let's say that it is hidden down there and you come in, are you going to vacuum this carpet? Well, if you're doing following the principles, you should be vacuuming this carpet. But what do a lot of people do? They skip the vacuuming step and they go right into their pre-spray and extraction. So let's say that my pre-spray is wet, all right? And so what's going to happen now when I add my pre-spray to that? How easy is that soil going to be to get out now? I can guarantee you one thing, if you ever tried to find a spot that came from a potting soil plant and you tried to take that out in a wet state, you're not going to get it out. You have to wait till it dries and then go back and dry vacuum it out. So that is our insoluble soil. In this case, you know, we realize that 80% of it's in there. We need to dry vacuum before we do anything else, even if we can't see the soil, because most soil is invisible to our eyes anyway. And if we can actually see it, we really have got a lot build up in there. My second category then is going to be water-based. And in this case, what I've got here, I've got some colas, I've got some mustard, I've got wonderful Starbucks coffee. So we know that all these are water-based spots. And that means that using a dry cleaning solvent to take those out would be ineffective. And then my last category is going to be a solvent soluble material. So that would be the paint can, that would be gum. A lot of people say, well, gum comes out with water. Well, try and drop a piece of gum into a glass of water and see how long it lasts. All right. And the other thing is just general oil and then lipstick. Let's see if we can summarize solubility. We're going to break this down to three major categories. The first one being insoluble materials, which means anything that doesn't dissolve in water. This could be anything like sand, hair, skin, paper, anything like that that just won't dissolve water or solvents. The second one is going to be those unsightly spots you see on carpet. These are going to be the water soluble ones. It could be food, it could be drink, it could be bodily fluids. And then our last one is going to be the one that sometimes creates the traffic areas and that would be our solvent soluble materials. This could be paint, it could be cosmetics, it could be anything that's oily, track in from the outside or even kitchen grease. Each of these is going to cause its own little concerns, but those are the three types of solubility. So let's take a look at our two experiments here that we had running. This is my sugar cube in water. And as you can see, fully dissolved. This is my sugar cube in a dry cleaning solvent, a volatile solvent. And as you can tell, it hasn't budged. And if we stood here for the next two days, it still wouldn't budge because it is a water soluble material. Understanding solubility is a key factor in carpet cleaning. 